Okay, so I did see Doctor Strange on Thursday, and today is now Sunday. I'm making my review of it. Several reasons why. I want to let it marinate. B, I didn't want any chance of people watching this on my channel and me spoiling stuff, because I hate spoiling for other people, and I don't like things spoiled for me. But if you want to see it, stick around. Welcome back, family. Thank you for joining yet again here at Ohana Comics. So I'm going to try to break down this review into the non-spoiler section and then the spoiler section. So, uh, and I will be very, very clear on when one sec take, takes over. I'm going to start with the non-spoiler section. Nothing in this discussion will spoil any of the scenes for you for the movies. If anything, I'm going to try to enhance your viewing experience. Yes! And this is where I'm going to try to enhance your viewing experience. All the speculations that you have heard in um, videos from these people or those people and this character is going to appear and that character is going to appear and I saw this in the trailer and did you catch this little tiny scene and all these characters that you think and all the storyline that you think is going to happen in Doctor Strange. Erase it from your mind because 95% of what you saw is wrong. Okay, it's wrong. <laughs> that, you know, that didn't appear, that didn't appear, this didn't happen, none of this, blah, 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 blah. No. Okay, it's a completely different storyline than you think. And the speculation of what you thought you saw or other people thought they saw and what the comic books have shot up in price and this, wrong. Okay, you get that out of your head and just go watch a movie the way it was meant to be watched <laughs> with no preconceived notions and you're going to love it. Okay. Uh, if you go in and, say, and at the end go, oh, I didn't see that, and I didn't see that, I didn't see that. I thought that was supposed to be in it. No, just get that all out of your head and just go enjoy a movie. Okay? Like I said, you take that out, you're going to enjoy it. Um, this movie is rated PG-13. I don't see how it did not get rated R. Okay? Um, there's a very... This this is a brutal movie. This is this is a borderline horror film. It's made like a horror film, and there's some scenes in there where you're literally, oh, oh, PG thirteen. Damn. <laughs> okay, so if you're gonna bring young kids, please please keep that in mind. Um, is it you know like some of the real hardcore? You know, you see intestines coming up. No. But there are some scenes that will disturb kids, and if you're weak, you know, then you know, stomached or whatever, you're, you know, you you may be affected by this. But if you want to go in for a a, a PG-13 hard PG-13 horror film with a good good storyline and great special effects, go enjoy the movie. Okay, now I'm going to do my spoilers. Hey, da, 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 spoiler! So if you don't want to know what's going on, don't watch after this point. After you watch the movie, come back and watch it. Okay. So this movie, damn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I said that this is brutal. This is Brutal. Okay, so the opening, right from the very opening scene, you're right into a fight scene, right into action. Okay, there's no build up or anything. It's just bam, you're you're in the hot seat, and it's it's not brutal in that one, but it's a really great eye candy, get you into the storyline, get your heart pumping fight scene, um, uh, with a different version of Strange, which. I think a lot of people thought this was Defender Strange. No, it's just a different version of Strange. He never said he was a part of the Defenders, just a different costume. And America Chavez being chased. And Doctor Strange basically tries to says, you know what, I got no choice. I'm gonna have to kill you just to protect the universe. Doctor Strange being Doctor Strange, you know? Coffee. So yeah. <laughs> um but he winds up failing. Uh she opens up a universe and they pop into Earth six sixteen. 
and uh, Doctor Strange dies during it. You know, that version of Doctor Strange. Whatever universe that number was from, they didn't stay. So, Pop, when, now you see that little scene where it wakes up Doctor Strange and our Doctor Strange. I'll just kind of call him number 616 at that point, where he saw all this happen in his dream. And he has to get ready for Christine's wedding because apparently while, well, as she said, it was never going to work out between the two of them because he's the one that always has to hold the knife. <laughs> Um, I was expecting him to be holding a knife somewhere by the end of this movie, but whoa! Um, she's gotten married. To, she's getting married to somebody else. Uh, I don't think Christine got dusted. Uh, we know Strange did, but it looks like she moved on. She formed a life with somebody else, and she was getting married, and she was, you know, invited Doctor Strange. Um, yeah, I would. I don't know if I could go to my ex's <laughs> wedding, but um, during it, of course. Uh, America Chavez pops in and just like the Fantastic Four wedding got uh, interrupted, so does Christine's and that's why you see it in a little trailer. And uh, this Doctor Strange, very, very cool. Uh, the way he jumped off the balcony, pulls out his coat, cloak and is like, I'm going to do my little change in midair. I mean, he's really starting to embrace that I'm, I'm cool type of attitude there with the superhero. And he fights what is basically Shumagarath. And, but for copyright reasons, they had to call him Gargantua. It's not Gargantua, it's Shumagarath. And the fight scene is, it's pretty active. Wong joins in, it's really well choreographed. Um, but when the eye gets impaled and then comes out and you see the whole eyeball fall, you're like, okay, this is one of those kind of movies. <laughs> You're getting grossed out in the first 10 minutes. That's really, really cool. I had to give it credit because it really sets your your stomach. To, you know, say, okay, you better be prepared. <laughs> you know, this is not um, a Captain America movie. This is a Doctor Strange, and it is directed by Sam Raimi. Get ready for this. Oh, man. So, all right, so let's see. We've got the, that scene. Oh, and then she he gives uh, the description of what happened. He sees... The uh, other Doctor Strange from whatever universe he is, the dead, the dead corpse, he buries him on top of a building. I know, I mean, it's kind of like the cobblestones that they used to line New York City with, but I don't remember ever seeing any rooftop with cobblestones on it. And definitely not under the cobblestones do you find dirt. If not, if that is, that's somebody's garden. And I think they're going to find the body. <laughs> so that was a really weird place to bury somebody on top of a building, but he did. Um, and then he goes to see, uh, Wanda. Now, uh, America Chavez is very nervous about Doctor Strange because the prior Doctor Strange tried to kill her. <laughs> so she's like, how do I know I can trust you? And Wong takes her to Kamatash. So he goes and he meets, um, Wanda in the orchard. That's the scene that you see in the trailer. So kudos to anybody who went to go see it in the 4D you know, the uh, 3D super experience of 4D because they include the senses because they said that they could actually smell the apple orchard. They actually pumped in the smell of the apple orchard during that time, which is cool because it lends credence to it. And she's sitting there clipping the branches, which, uh, you know, a lot of people in the trailer say, oh, she's clipping branches. That's got to do with Kang and the TVA. No, she's just cutting branches because she wanted to cut a branch. Here, smell this. So as you're smelling it, the people in 4D are smelling it. That's pretty much all it was. Um, and she's, she, she's telling Stephen, well, where, you know, where's America now? And as soon as she said it, I'm like, yo, she, he didn't say her name. <laughs> then there's that pause and she turns around and she goes, oh, you didn't tell me her name, did you? No, I didn't. You know, it's going to be much easier for you, Stephen, if you just give me America. Okay. I want to take her ability. I want to be able to go to other universes and see my kids because my kids are in every other universe. Now what's established here is uh, you know when you have a dream and you see yourself doing something? That, what they're saying is that every time you dream, you're seeing another version of yourself in the multiverse in what's actually happening. So Doctor Strange actually dreamed about the other Doctor Strange getting killed and uh, trying to take America Chavez's powers. That's why he woke up like that. And I keep waking up uh, thinking about this and that. It's not happening to you, but it's happening to your version in other multiverses. So Wanda has checked every other multiverse, and every other multiverse has her kids. So she wants America Chavez's ability of popping through different universes, 
multiverses for herself so she can go be with her kids. And she turns around, she's like, you know, just, I'm going to be there later on today. I'm going to pick up uh, America. It would be in your best interest to just give her to me. You're telling the Sorcerer Supreme on his home turf with an entire army at Carmitage, do yourself a favor. Just give it to me. She knows she's OP'd. <laughs> okay? And Strange retreats back to Carmitage like, we're in trouble. Wanda's coming. So the, so the Scarlet Witch is coming. He knows we're in trouble. Wong knows they're in trouble. They're preparing for battle. Everybody's out there. And she just shows up with this rolling cloud. He goes up to meet her. And she's like, Wanda, be reasonable. She said, you don't understand. I, you know, why'd you send those other creatures? Uh, that was me being nice. That's better than if I come. Okay. I am, this is me being reasonable. I'm giving you an opportunity to hand me this kid. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, how could you kill a child? It, it's one child. And that's kind of the same mentality that Doctor Strange always has. Like, in the greater good, one life means nothing. Ten lives mean nothing in the, in the fate of the universe. And she's saying, well, one life means nothing if it means me being with my kids. How many, how many mothers would see it the same way? They want to be, you know, if you took children away from a mother, how many mothers would say, I don't care what it takes. I want to be with my kids. So it's, it's almost a plight so that you can say, I understand. Bear in mind that she's also been influenced by reading the Darkhold, which will corrupt your soul. So, I mean, but she, she in a battle that kind of looks like Hogwarts, um, she just, she does. She gets through the, the shields uh, by using her mind tricks on a couple of the people. Uh, one of the guys that's holding it, she, she looks kind of like, okay, who looks like they're weak? Oh, <laughs> you look like you're scared. <laughs> so she just all of a sudden appears behind him and whispers to him, run. To which he does, and then bumps other people, breaking their concentration, gets a hole in the shield, boom, she's through. And I may have thrown everything at the, but the kitchen sink at her, arrows and cannon fire and everything else. And she's like, no, shoot that back, shoot that back, kill those people, fry those people. You see their charred corpses. I mean, it's a, it's a one-sided battle. Okay, Carmitage, Doctor Strange, Wong, everybody, cannons. It is a one-sided battle against Wanda. So... Then they trap her. They put her in like a little tra get her get her trapped. It almost looks like a version of the mirror universe, but it's got almost like mirror spikes around. And she uses the idea of mirrors and reflections to start attacking them through anything else that gives her reflections, like water puddles and uh, mirrors on the wall. And she comes through a shiny metal gong because that would cast the reflection. She comes through it almost looks like the ring. I swear. I mean, even the same way she's like <laughs> comes through and I'm like. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> so, um, America and, and, and Strange take off through one of the portals. She grabs Wong. Uh, one of the people, one of the sources survives, and she destroys the Darkhold. Which, <sighs> this is where it gets a little bit eh with me. Strange doesn't have to go through the book every time and start reading the spells. Okay, he knows the spells. But when the Darkhold is destroyed, she's not capable of casting that spell anymore. Like, she can't remember it anymore. Or it just, it, it has to be cast through the book. But one of the sorcerers destroys the Darkhold, killing herself at the same time. And she wants another copy, so she's, you know, threatening Wong. I'm going to kill all these people, including Rintra, which you saw in the trailer. But uh, this is like the end of him. <laughs> I don't, I don't even remember. I don't know. They didn't kill him, but... I don't know if he'll be back in any further ones. Anybody specking on the Rintra first appearance? Mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> he says that it's uh, it is uh, written on the walls in Wondergore. I'm like Wondergore. Well, that's where Scarlet Witch. I mean, that's where Wanda and Pietro in the comic books were originally from. Is the, are they gonna give it? No, it was just a peak on a mountain. And you know, it was copied by. Uh, it was put on the walls by Cthulhu. And I'm like, okay, so, or Cthon, Cthon, not Cthulhu, Cthon. So I'm like, okay, maybe we'll get him. We didn't. <laughs> we might in the future, but we didn't. And if we go there, you'll see all the stuff that was on, that's on the wall that was transcribed into the book that was the Darkhold. So get up there, and big, big creatures come out, and immediately I'm like, oh, man, big big fight scene. No, they kneel to her. They're like, oh, no, our kindness is back. <laughs> I'm like, Damn. <laughs> Minions of Cthulhu are bowing. <laughs> so, 
Meanwhile, this is going on. Doctor Strange is in, wakes up in the other, uh, other universe. Uh, oh, great, great scene. I kind of passed there. I, I'm sorry. A lot of people didn't like the second end credit scene. I loved it. I thought it was perfect. Um, they go through all these different universes. Paint and black and white and noir and, and dinosaur. And, um, they land and she, uh, Dr. Strange turns around and what the heck is America? She just stopped off at the vendor to get something to eat. And he says, how did you pay for that? And she's like, well, most universes, food is free. Okay, it's weird that you guys actually have to pay for it. I'm like, it doesn't make sense. It's kind of more of a communistic society where everybody, you know, Star Trek idea where everybody pulls together for the benefit of the society. We haven't yet. <laughs> we kind of suck in 616. Ah, so, next, uh, uh, you hear, hey, you didn't pay for that. I'm like, okay, so that's one of the universes you didn't have to pay. Who's the vendor that made the little pizza balls? It's Bruce Campbell. Yes. <laughs> ah, I just got a little freeze there. I had to re reset the mouse. Bruce Campbell is, hey, you're going to pay for that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's, there's your cameo. Anytime, I mean, usually MCU films, you always want to see Stan Lee, but if it's a Raimi film, it's got to be Bruce Campbell. So she uses, uh, did she use the spell? When did she, when did she learn a spell? That's a good question. I didn't know she could do spells or anything. It was weird. He just starts punching himself and smacking himself. And as they're walking away, he, sa he says, how long is that going to last? And, oh, about two, three weeks. Was it, or was it him that create, cast the spell? Now I, I can't even remember who cast the spell. It doesn't even make sense. No, I think it was him that cast the spell because he didn't have time to deal with this. So he started, the guy, oh, sorry, it was Doctor Strange. Wow, I just got mixed up really there for a second because I'm so, I think of that as like a bad action and the protagonist, the antagonist being female, Wanda. In my head, I transcribed it as a fe the female in that scene, which would be America. I'm sorry. So he starts punching himself and smacking himself. And she says, well, how long does that last? Oh, not long, like two, three weeks. <laughs> So, you, really, you know, as you leave, it, you got Bruce Campbell punching himself, realizing he's going to be doing that for two, three weeks, and I guess the food's going to spoil. <laughs> so, they go um, to where they think Doctor Strange is, and they see a monument to find out that Doctor Strange is actually dead. But so they go to the Sanctum Sanctorum, and Baron Mordo is there. And he's like, my friend, I haven't seen you, my brother. And he hugs him, come on inside, come on inside. And Dr. Strange is holding up like, okay, uh, you know, you didn't want to kill me in my universe. I'm going to keep that one quiet. <laughs> Sit down. Would you like a cup of tea? And the tea is spiked. Knocks him out, of course. So Baron Mordo is not the cool person that we thought he was. He is actually still, you know, he knocks out Dr. Strange and they wake up inside these plexiglass cubes, one each. That's You see that in the trailer. And Dr. Strange has the these bracelets on which inhibit any of his powers. So he's like... <laughs> Damn! <laughs> she can't get out. She's punching the walls. She can't get out or anything. And who's the doctor that's helping study them is Christine. Hmm. She, well, so she's saying, look, I know who you are and everything, but you do realize that you came from another universe. Okay? We, we're trying to avoid an incursion here, you know, like we've had before. And I'm like, okay, so other universe, they know all about the multiverse. They've had interactions with multiverses before. In this new universe. And what she's worried about. You may be carrying different versions of bacteria. Or you know anything else. We don't know if you're safe. Or... Okay. So we have to check you out. Alright well I'm going to take Doctor Strange up to the uh, to the Illuminati. So you open up the door. And I guess they're not worried about germs 30 seconds later. <laughs> Maybe they did a full spectrum analysis. I don't know. They just all you know. You, we don't know if you're carrying anything. But come on out and interact with us. I didn't like that. So he's being led while handcuffed by a full uh, complement of Ultron robots to the scene that everybody's seen in the uh, trailers of the Illuminati. And yes, we do get Captain Carter. Yes, we do get um, uh, Black Bolt for, with the actor from the from the Inhumans, and he looked better. And his costume looked better and his special effects were better in his short little interaction than anything to do with the Inhumans. Um, we did not get a lot of the characters that people speculated. We did not get Superior Iron Man. Yay. We actually got um, Monica Rambeau's mother 
as Captain Marvel. Uh, we got Professor X in the yellow chair, which we, we knew that was something they shouldn't have revealed because that would have been really, really great because the yelling and screaming that we saw when we got Reed Richards <laughs> would have been doubled <laughs> for Professor X. I did like about Professor X is as they were coming out, you heard, da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. I'm like, oh man, oh man, fan service here. I love it. I love it. <laughs> but you, you can tell that Patrick Stewart is definitely getting, he's getting up there in age. He really is, you know, and his, his speech, his mannerisms are slower. His body's getting really, really frail. Um, uh, but... Uh, they tell him that, no, we're not, yeah, we understand Wanda's a Scarlet Witch. We're not worried about her. We're worried about you, okay? Because in every universe, you're the problem, not Wanda. Excuse me? Well, yeah, you don't realize that, you know, yeah, Stephen Strange didn't die killing Thanos. Stephen Strange killed Thanos, but then we realized that he was the problem, so we killed him. Black Bolt actually spoke to, you know, and said, you know, I'm sorry, which amplified and then incinerated Doctor Strange because he was too powerful and too power hungry, which is something that Doctor Strange, with his arrogance, kind of gets to on certain points. You got to worry about it. But that was really cold. And then uh, you hear the alarms and because uh, Wanda has... Uh, tracked them down through checking out all the universes and took over the one uh, she dream walked into the Wanda from that universe and she's now going after the Illuminati <laughs> and she's going after Dr. Strange she's going after everybody just I'm going in there and you know the alarms are going off and uh, she's just going through all the robots the Ultron robots she's, do you think about Ultron she's like you get uh, okay and oil from the Ultron robots that's what gets on her to make it look like the blood that you saw that everybody thought oh she's got blood all over her and it looks like she's the, the Marvel zombie no she's Wanda with oil on her big deal but she comes in you know, the, the Illuminati are like okay we'll take care of her you stick with Doctor Strange so you got Reed Captain Marvel Captain Carter, Black Bolt, all go in to head off Wanda. Yo, some straight up cold shit. <laughs> and, you know, they're, they're telling her, like, you, you don't understand. Black Bolt's standing right there, like, looking at her. And she says, you know, one whisper from his mouth, and you're dead. And she looks up and she goes, what mouth? And she matrixes him, okay? Boom, mouth disappears. You know, hmm. No, there's no mouth. Gone. <laughs> okay. And I guess that kind of freaked him out because he, he was like, hmm. And he made the noise. It couldn't come out. It blew out the back of his head. Now, this would have been rated R, but he had the, 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 the costume and it kind of contained, but you could see the, <laughs> and then the whole head collapsed and dropped dead. He blew out the back of his own skull. <laughs> On screen in a PG-13 movie. <laughs> then she turns to, uh, to Reed Richards and he's trying to calm her down. He says, look, I can understand how you feel. Okay. I have children too. And she looks at him. Is the mother still alive? And he says, yes. Good. Then they'll have somebody to take care of them. Like, what? <laughs> Wanda, yo. <laughs> And then she turns the dude into freaking balloons and pops him. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> now you got Captain Carter and Captain Marvel. And this is a little bit more of a fight than I thought it would be, considering what she just did with the first two. But she does. She crushes Captain Marvel with one of the statues. But in some cold-ass shit, Captain Carter throws a shield at her. She grabs it and wails it right back. And you just hear it go, <laughs> and then it sticks in the wall. With blood all over it, and you see like the, the, the view almost of Captain Carter, like of what you see of me right here, with nothing below this point, okay. And then you hit <laughs> basically the top half of her torso is sliding off the bottom half of her torso. She cut her in half. Illuminati, strongest beings, we're not worried about her. Boom, gone. <laughs> then she comes in and she's got um, Professor X there, you know, and, she, and he's. I'm coming into your mind. Strongest mind in the universe. I'm coming into your mind. And he gets there. It's just complete white everywhere with a pile of rocks. And you see, and Wanda is like, hey, get me out of here. Get me out of here. And it's kind of like the real true Wanda. The Wanda that we 
one, saw at the end of one division and before the dark hold is trapped in there and he's like grab my hand i'll get you out of there if i can get you out of there maybe the two of us can defeat her or we'll we'll set you free and then this red mist starts coming in i mean this is so well done red mist starts coming in and engulfs them wanda disappears and you just saw two hands come out and grab professor x and <laughs> And then you see him in the chair. <laughs> Boom. Professor Eric's dead. Killed in his mind. <laughs> no battle. Boom. Gone. Wanda. You OP. You OP. <laughs> All right. So she gets a hold of uh, America Chavez. She sends, uh, what do you call it, Doctor Strange to another universe <laughs> with Christine. Just get out of my face. After the whole underwater battle and everything, which was under the tunnels, and that, that's just too much to even talk about. But now she's got America Chavez at Wonder Gore. She's going to take their powers. You got Doctor Strange in a completely other universe with no idea what the heck to do, where he is, how to get back, or anything, or where Wanda is with the kid. But he's like, you know what, man, let's see what another Doctor Strange has to say. <laughs> so she, he gets there, and there's, this is the one that we all thought was uh, Strange Prime from what if it's not it's just another doctor strange who has admitted to killing other doctor strangers <laughs> because he's trying to find that one universe where he winds up with christine <laughs> oh man the whole thing about he's asked multiple times through this whole uh movie are you happy they're really harping on this. Are you happy, Mr. Strange? Dr. Stephen Strange, are you as a person happy? The bottom line is he's not. Okay, he's doing for obligation and for greater good, but he's not a happy camper. So he winds up getting into a battle of music notes. Music notes. <laughs> okay, the, the sheet music pops up, you know, shoots up when he had, lands on the piano and he takes the notes off the paper and shoot turns them into weapons to shoot at the other Doctor Strange and it actually is the music you hear it traveling and that gets changed and another tune comes back and then it's all the music is held together in this bo giant ball between the two of them you know you know there's the quintessential scene where two people are shooting and it's a beam is stuck in the middle well now that beam is a ball of music notes okay and Strange looks over and there's a harp so he casts a spell and, and plucks the string and one note shoots out and I guess either hits, distracts, or whatever the other Doctor Strange with a third eye, and the entire <laughs> ball of notes just goes and hits him, knocks him out the window. The upper window is like the fourth floor of the Sanctum Sanctorum. He plummets down and lands on the spiked fence, poof, impaling himself again. And this you see, you're like, come on, man, <laughs> what am I watching? Ah. <sighs> So he opens up the dark hole, which that strange had, and he's checking all the universes. He's like, okay, this is where she is. Boom, puts that universe in the dark hole and transports him. And uh, no, 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 he doesn't. He doesn't transport himself. He does not. What he does do is he dream walks. And Christine says, well, you can only dream walk into another version of yourself if they're you know, in that universe. And he said, I never said they had to be alive. And he dream walks into the dead body that he buried on the roof. <laughs> There's your Marvel zombie. But there are penalties for dream walking into a corpse. So these uh, shadow beings or whatever are, you know, are, are attacking Doctor Strange as his dec decayed self is trying to take over. It's a, it is kind of a zombie, but it's not from the Marvel zombies. And if the repercussion, you cannot take court, blah, 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 blah. And he captures, takes them all and turns them into a, like a, a cloak, a new cloak for himself made out of all these <laughs> ghosts, demons, whatever, and flies across to Wondergore to get into the battle there. Now, the uh, actual, this that was really, really well done. But again, if you were thinking you were getting Marvel Zombies, if you thought it was going to be more uh, Wanda Zombie, which would have been cool, um... You didn't get it. So, like I said in the non-spoiler, everything you think you know, erase it. Erase it. This was not what you were expecting. Um, it was America Chavez that actually winds up opening a universe and sending the Scarlet Witch, I'll say that, to another universe so she can inter not just view her kids, but interact with them. 
And the first thing she does is the Wanda that's there, it's get out of my way. I don't know you. You're not their mother. I'm their mother. It's the same person. You're actually taking away the true mother. The kids are scared. And it is Billy and Tommy from One Division. It's cool. But they're scared. Like, stay away from mom. About, no, you don't understand. Uh, I would never hurt you. And uh, the kids are running to their mother in that universe. And they're afraid of one, uh, Scarlet Witch. So she drops to her knees. And she's like, this is not what I wanted. And Wanda from that universe kind of, she gets it. She knows what happened. And she can figure it out. And she looks at Scarlet Witch and says, they will be loved. It's kind of like, you know, I know you worry about your kids. Don't. Because I'm going to, they're, they're loved. And it kind of snaps her out of what everything she's succumbed to from the dark hold. And she says to Doctor Strange, uh, no, but I will never succumb to these you know, to this again, and she goes to this, she gets them out of there. Um, actually, America Chavez now because she can finally like, control her powers, she pops open the universe, they get out of there, and uh, she destroys Wonder Gore. Now, a lot of people are looking at it like, Well, did Wonder Gore die, uh, did, you know, kill her? There's a red glow underneath her, so chances are she survived, and chances are. That, or she teleported out of there. But even if she didn't, there is a Scarlet Witch. Now, here's what I'm saying. A couple of things. There is a Scarlet Witch in every single universe. Okay? The Dark Hole did not make her the Scarlet Witch. If you remember the end of WandaVision, she becomes the Scarlet Witch. She defeats Agatha. She turns to Monica Rambeau and says, I don't understand this power, but I will. And then she studies the Dark Hole. Okay? But she had all those powers there they were just untrained and she trained herself in that version earth 616 with the dark hold if she gets training from other sources such as agatha harkness in other universes which is more in line with what happened in the comic books she can become the scarlet witch without the negative tainting of the dark hold the second thing is where the hell was Vision? <laughs> Not just in Earth-616. In any other universe, where was Vision? Okay, it, if that followed the same line, that she had her grief, she took and she created her own reality, creating the kids. The kids came after she created Vision. The first thing she wanted was a life with the man that she loved, the man that she blew a hole in, their, in his own head. Okay? Her grief caused her to take over Westview, create a perfect world, and make a world with vision. And then later on, expand that by having the kids. In no other version did I see vision. In not in this, in Earth 16, 616, where was white vision? I mean, even if I had just seen a scene of on another universe of the four of them sitting down to dinner, there was not one iota of Paul Bettany vision in this movie. And I was really disturbed by that. Um, why? It didn't make any sense. So overall, I am going to have to go watch this movie again because I had certain things that I was expecting, uh, things I was worried about seeing, things I thought we were going to see. The storyline was not what I thought it was going to be. The bad guy certainly wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Now I have to go back and just try to enjoy the movie for what it is. Post credit scenes, the first one you've got Charlize Theron playing Clea. And I'm sorry, I was not a big Doctor Strange reader as a kid. I didn't know who Clea was. <laughs> of course, everybody in my group, and if you saw the picture of you know, the that who I went with, everybody's like, Rich, who the hell's that? And I'm like, I don't know. You're not supposed to know. I'm like, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I'm quickly Googling during the credits. Okay, that's Clea. Who's Clea? Uh, she is the niece of basically the, the daughter of the heir to the, the, uh, uh, oh my God. I can't even think straight right now. <laughs> um, Dormammu's uh, war, uh, universe realm. She's his niece and a future love interest of Doctor Strange. So, I don't know if Benedict Cumberbatch was 
I've heard that he's saying that he's like wants to take a step back from doing movies and whatnot. If he has an opportunity to do scenes as a love interest with Charlize Theron, he may have to re rethink that. <laughs> but I really think that going forward, you're going to be seeing Doctor Strange and Clea forming a relationship, and that can answer the question of, are you happy? The second end credit scene, I've talked to people that hated it. I loved it. When I was there, the audience cheered and laughed and clapped. They thought it was really, really cool. It was... Bruce Campbell <laughs> again <laughs> and he's still smacking himself and all of a sudden he goes <sighs> it's over <laughs> and that was it and it fade to black <laughs> and people like I was expecting something like big reveal no it was Ferris Bueller yeah, what are you still doing here the movie's over go home <laughs> and I loved it because you're like what else am I going to see that's it. It was so cute and corny that it, as much as the movie brought me up to speed, and right from the beginning it got my heart pumping, this allowed me to, okay, that was cool, take a little breath, and calm down to leave the theater. It was, the beginning of the movie turned the light switch on, and this one turned it off. And it was perfect. To me, that was perfect. We don't need super reveals every single second of every single day. We got one already. We got uh, Dormammu's knee, uh, Dormammu uh, realm fighting incursions, Third Eye and Doctor uh, Doctor Strange, Clea. That's enough. We're good. <laughs> oh, so please put in the comments. Did you like the movie? Did you think it was overly hyped? I've been talking that for thirty six minutes, and it's yeah. I've been storing this in my head for three days now running it through my head and as much as I got excited talking about this I apparently I really did like that movie uh, I mean off the top of my head I would have rated it about a 7.5 to an 8 on a scale of 1 to 10 which is very good um, but I think when I see this a second time it's going to get even higher guys thanks so much for joining thanks for sticking around through this entire ramble hopefully you've seen the movie if not get your butt to go see it I will see you soon until I do mahalo <laughs>